Okay, now I'm going to show you the uh, component sections of the unit. First of all, we have a switch here from the low voltage wiper blades uh, going through a relay that will take the higher current and then through the amp meter so that I can read what amps is being drawn at any point in time and then through the actual hydrolyzer itself and then you can see the pipe going from the exhaust of the car comes over out of the air duct of the car and the not the exhaust the, the air intake and by vacuum that will suck the, uh, the air through that unit and through this little uh, inlet pipe here which is adjustable and that's where the uh, manual drip would be inserted. Also on this particular version of the car we don't have um, electronic sensors in the exhaust so all we have is a pot on the MAF unit which can cut down the degree of air intake marginally so that or increase it accordingly. So that's the main constituents of the unit. Now we'll show, fire it up and sh show you it working again. Okay here we're looking at making up the car electrolyte. As you can see we're using standard caustic soda bought from the hardware store, uh, funnel, be very careful and then stored in a uh, container to the ratio of one teaspoon of caustic soda to one litre of distilled water. And you also notice that I've used a hydrochloric acid container so that the danger sign is and poison is written on the, on the container. Okay, now I've filmed this uh, hydrolyzer in the car, it's just basically another battery, the size of a battery, but I'm showing you this because the level of generating the hydrogen is not sufficient. I've just got a couple of little bubbles coming up and down on the plate. When you look at the ammeter, it's showing no more than about 7 or 8 amps. That just isn't going to um, do it for you. So this is when we're going to have to change the electrolyte in the, in the unit. You can see the volume of H2O gas comes up as bubbles. So you can see that it's generating a good 2, 2.5 litres per second.